Bright, beautiful products, solid ingredient formulations, and a happy face is a beautiful face premise. If you like hip, higgy skincare, then Ole Henriksen's Three Mega Wonders and his skincare line just might be for you. Well, welcome back to Skincare with Chris Gibson. If you're new, I'm Chris, I'm your skincare expert, and I am here to help you find skincare that will work for you, not empty your wallet, and not cause more harm than good. So if that's your thing, hit the subscription button and that little notification bell so that you get notified when my videos are up each week. Okay, so I have reviewed a number of celebrity skincare brands and Ole Henriksen's release of the three Mega Wonders value kit couldn't have been timed any better. And when I do these celebrity brand reviews, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for ingredients and how they work or will they work for you. So I generally pick out the most popular products because that allows me to take a look at the product formulation and ingredient ideology of the skincare brand. So what you generally find is if you do three or four of their best selling products, you kind of know what their ingredient mix is going to be everywhere else. So that when you go and do the research, voila, there it is. It's the same basic ingredients across the brand. Now, for those of you who follow me, you know what's coming next. I'm all about ingredients and effectiveness, way over brand name and price. So today's review, which is non-sponsored on Ole Henriksen, is no different than any other brand review I've done so far. So to understand the brand, you really need to understand the man behind the brand. Now, Ole Henriksen, not to be confused with Oil of Ole, was a young man of 19 when he was suffering from severe cystic acne, which is something that he and I have in common. And he was able to cure the cystic acne with the help of an esthetician naturally, which again is something that he and I both have in common. This spurred his interest and love for skincare and therefore his skincare brand was born. Now his brand premise of exfoliate, treat and soothe has been the talk that he's been walking for many, many years. And I can tell you at 69 years old, he doesn't look anywhere close to that age. So even though Ole Hendrickson has a bunch of raving fans, and there really are a bunch of them, do the formulations really deliver? Well, let's gonna dive in and find out because as you know, ingredients don't lie. Okay, so the first product that I looked at was the Transform Glow to O Dark Spot Toner. And of course, just by the name, you can guess, it's designed to help even skin complexion and lighten and fade dark spots. Now this is the first of the products that's included in the three Mega Wonders value kit, but as a standalone product, I wanna talk about what the ingredients are in the formulation and what they should be able to deliver. Now I'm looking over the ingredient list. This is definitely a high potency AHA formula. They include also witch hazel, which I know is kind of old school, with lemon, sugarcane, licorice, and chamomile, which means this is a highly buffered yet very potent AHA solution. I mean, these are definitely skin brightening ingredients and I do love the fact that they use extracts in their ingredients rather than oils because oils tend to be more irritating in formulas for skin than do extracts. Now the high concentration of glycolic and lactic acid is buffered by chamomile and sandalwood, which means that this product should be able to deliver a lot of good results without very much irritation. Now I also like the fact that they don't include alcohol of any kind in the formulation, which is really rare for a toner. There is one negative though. I did find fragrance in the ingredient list. And, and the problem with that is, is we don't know if it's synthetic fragrance and we don't know if it's natural fragrance. Again, you guys have heard me say this before, the FDA doesn't require skincare companies to tell you what the fragrance is made out of. So you really have no idea. The bottom line is this is a really good formulation, but it does have fragrance. And if you have skin irritations, or skin sensitivities, when you use anything that has fragrance, you're probably gonna have to test this product out before you use it, just to make sure it doesn't give you problems. Now, the next product that I took a look at was the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. And I am a crazy person when it comes to vitamin C serums. I recommend them all the time because of the just huge benefits they can give people's skin. Really, any skin type can usually tolerate a well-formulated buffered vitamin C serum, and this is a good formulation. Now, the ingredients include 15% ascorbic acid, which is, by the way, the highest daily dose of vitamin C that you should be applying to your skin. They also pair that with vitamin E, which is very high in antioxidants, very skin soothing. And then of course they add one of my favorite skin ingredients for hydration, hyaluronic acid. Now what really makes this vitamin C serum stand out from many others is they use 5% polyhydroxy acids rather than AHAs or alpha hydroxy acids. 
What's different about those is they're much milder and the effect on the skin is a little bit different. While they do help speed up cellular turnover, just like an AHA, they also help strengthen skin elasticity and they act as an antioxidant. So this is really a better grade hydroxy action on the skin than plain old glycolic and lactic acid. We're probably gonna see polyhydroxy acid in more and more skin formulations simply because they do the same amount of work as the AHAs, but they do it with less sensitivity. Now they do another thing that's very unique in vitamin C serums and they add banana powder pigments. And what that means is that you're gonna get the long-term benefits from the vitamin C serum, but you're gonna see an immediate effect on evening out skin tone and color from these pigments that they've added to this formulation. So this is a really unique vitamin C serum. I really like it a lot. Next, I took a look at the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream, which is a product that I have recommended on this channel before. I really like it a lot. This is a moisturizer that is designed to hydrate all day long, and it has three sources of vitamin C. It comes from ascorbic acid, botanical extracts, and citrus extracts. They also include Rose of Winter extract in this particular formulation. And what's really great about that is that it's very anti-inflammatory, anti-redness. It also helps products work well on all skin types, and that includes acne-prone skin, dry skin, and sensitive skin. So they really thought through this formulation to make sure that it was gonna work for most people. Now, what I will also say about these three products that I really like is they're all water-based, which means there's no mineral oil or alcohol in the formulations whatsoever. So this is really, really solid formulating and ingredients for good skin health. And the other great thing is these three standalone products are now in the three Mega Wonders value kit. So you get that kit for $74, which is almost the price of just one of these products. So I really think they've gone a long way to take these three popular products and make a kit out of them, but I'm not done yet. There's one other product that I really wanted to take a look at since it's a key component of any good skincare routine, and that's exfoliation. Now their exfoliating product is called Transforming Walnut Scrub. And as a rule, I don't like scrubs, especially those that are made from walnut, peach, apricot shells because they're usually very gritty and they cause micro tears in the skin. So they're really too hard. However, this particular scrub uses a finely ground walnut powder. And I really like this better. It's not gritty and it's gonna do a superb job at gently exfoliating dead skin cells without doing all those micro tears all over your skin causing you more problems. It's interesting because when I did the Tiege Hanley skincare review, they have a similar scrub that's a walnut scrub. These are the only two scrubs I've ever come across where it's a powder rather than that gritty hard shell pieces that go across your skin. So I really, really like that. Now they also include apricot seed powder. So again, you've got a really good formulation that's gonna get dead skin cells up and off the skin, gonna clean out the pores without over drying and over stripping your skin. Now these types of scrubs are scrubs I've used myself with really good results. So I wasn't surprised to see that it gets rave reviews from their clients. It is a really good formulation. So what is my final word on Ole Hendrickson's product formulations? Well, you know, I'm kind of amazed because this company's been around a while and they've grown pretty dang large. They have a big following and yet they haven't fallen into that skincare product ingredient abyss that seems to happen to almost every brand where the owner has sold it and stepped away or they become very large in nature. Really happy to see that. They still make their formulations alcohol-free without sulfates, pithylates, or mineral oil. So really, really happy to see that this company has kind of stayed the course. Now, the one area that I have concern with is they do have fragrance in some of their products. So again, if you have sensitive skin, that's something you're gonna have to patch test for to make sure that you don't have sensitivity to those ingredients. And they're also moderately priced especially when you consider they've taken these standalone products and put them together in value sets, making it much more affordable right now for you to test out their skincare. I think that's all really, really good. Now, I obviously like their vitamin C serum and the Sea Rush Brightening Cream, but I really like the walnut scrub made with the powder rather than the ground up shells. I think that's really where it's at when it comes to scrubs. So even though I never recommend them, this one's okay. Now I hope this video helps you decide if Ole Henriksen's products are a good fit for your skincare routine. Please let me know in the comments below what your top skincare concerns are. And if you use Ole Henriksen products, let me know how they're working for you or not. I'd really like to know. Also be sure and check out my other big brand skincare reviews. I'll put those right over here. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. I love you, stay beautiful, and I will see you over on the next video.